Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel e tutorial. Today we will going to learn about Laravel Mutator. So first of all, what is Mutator? Sometimes if you want to modify our data before saving into our database, we can use this. So we can modify the data easily with the Laravel Mutator. So this is my Laravel application and this is my Laravel e database. Suppose I have a column that is saving name of uh, any member and i want to add any salutation with this column so how we can add this we will use mutator for this so create a controller so php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is member controller so just enter this so you can see the member controller is created and I want to create a model and we'll create a migration along with this. So use PHP artisan make model. Suppose my model name is member and I want to create a migration. So use minus M. Okay. So model is created and the created migration. So just go to the project directory and inside the controller we will get the member controller is created and in the model we have a member.php and if we go to the database migration so inside the migration folder we have the created member migration okay so let's modify the migration suppose i want to add a name and email so just use table and string that is name and i want to create another column that is email okay so my migration is ready so just migrate this to migrate we need to use php artisan migrate okay so migration successfully so just go to the database and we can see a new table is created the member table so now this is the blank so i need to add some data with the mutator so just go to the controller that is member controller so now i want to add a data into the member table so here i am not using any cedar or faker or any others way to insert data I have just inserting a data with a own function so first create a function that is function public function my function name is insert record okay insert record so here is my member model I will use the member model to insert the data so just copy this from here and use this use app models and name of the model that is member so use this here and here i'm calling a variable that is member equal to new member okay and here you can see the name and email column so just enter member name equal to suppose john and member email is john at the rate gmail.com okay and let's save this member save and after saving it will just return a output that is data inserted now in this time if we call the insert record method it, it will just insert a new record into the member table with the name john and email john at the rate gmail.com here i want to add a mutator 
so that we can add the salutation when it will add into the database okay so just go to the member model and create a method okay so i am creating a method that is public function and i need to add the set and the column name that is name and after that attribute okay and this is the value i will pass basically laravel internally pass this value and i am setting this attribute name that is the column name equal to i am adding the celebration suppose mr space and after that the value okay okay so my model function is ready so we just need to call this from the route so i have already added the member controller here and here i want to create route so basically using the route and we need to use the gate method and just add the member add url and let's call the controller name that is member controller colon colon class and comma after that the function name so that is insert record okay so now if we call this member add url one record will insert the member table okay so let's see so before that we need to start the server so php artisan server okay so server is started and now go to the browser and paste this url okay sorry we have a mistake it should be attributes okay and now refresh this so you can see the data inserted and if you go to the browser so we can see the name mr john but actually if we go to our controller we can see i am passing the john but here it is inserted mr john that means the john is inserted uh, with the mutator and using the mutator the mr is added so now if i want to create another mutator that is i want to add the email with the name so how we can add this so let's copy this function and use the column name that is email and share the email and i'm adding the value that is value and after that at the rate gmail.com okay and here i am using the member name here so basically i am assigning the member name into the member email okay so i am just changing the name that is johnny and when we will check into the database after calling the function we can say mr johnny and johnny at the gmail.com that is the email so here is a mistake we need to close the invite comma okay so just run this go to the browser and refresh this page again so we can see the data inserted and if you go to the database we can see the mr johnny and mr johnny at the gmail.com okay so in this way we can use mutator for our defined defined requirement i am showing just demo here and this is the basic logic of mutator uh, you need to use the mutator in your application in your defined type of logic okay so this is all about mutator please comment if you have any query about Laravel mutator next day i will going to show you how to use multiple database connection using Laravel application Please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.